it's sunny. It's nice to be out, but uh, we're gonna hit some of the small stuff off Seven Mile right now, just for fun. So, just got our kayak in there. Something different to it. I hate they put that little card insert there. We're gonna fish this little bridge. There's a second small bridge down there. You know, without bait, they're tough. These little bridges, they're gonna just give plenty of action. And that's what I did. Rigged up uh, one rig with 10 pound tests, some really small profiles. If I catch something we could eat, that's great. But I'm expecting to just, you know, catch a lot of fish, you know. Hopefully we'll just have a lot of action doing this. And that's really the goal out of this one. Uh, it's just a little too windy to get up on the main bridge. Yeah, I'm not pushing it. I'm supposed to, I'm on vacation. The best part is usually you get some pretty cool surprises doing this. So let's see what happens here. Something way too large for the tackle I'm using. Okay, of course. Oh. I think these are jacks, so let's, um, let's use something a little more appropriate. Mangrove on the Vertrex. I'm gonna need these. 
some fish in these stores. I think that was another jack. He was moving really fast and erratic. I feel like the slow sink rate of these 8th ounce jigs is killer though. This jig keeps tangling itself up so badly though. white grunt so I don't know maybe somebody can answer this I've caught a couple of these mangroves with these black spots on them the last few days curious what that is.
Definitely getting a decent amount of action. I'm gonna go back to the heavier jig heads though. I think it's a 132, it's a little too light. I think I like the sink right better on an eighth. I like the sink right better on an eighth. Oops. is Key West Grunt. Could pull one out there for a shark the other day. I don't really have shark rigs with me today. Grunt heavy area. These guys are kind of fun on the light tackle though. All right, let's try the next bridge. Let's try the next bridge over. I think the next one's a little bit bigger too, so maybe some better bites there. Just gonna have to paddle here in a second. Seeing a few barracudas here. Yeah, I am. I'll throw a couple lures really quickly. Whoa! That is a monster needlefish, but that's also terrifying. I want that thing nowhere near me. Houndfish, right? Yeah. Wow. Yikes, yikes, yikes. Oh, man. That thing looks like it'll cause some serious injury. 
Thank you. Whew. Broke the hook on there actually. For the better. Dang. Dang, that was wild. The current's pretty strong here. That was a pretty big hound fish. Needle fish. I think those are hound fish typically. That thing was scary, man. I wouldn't want to handle him. All right, this bridge has got a lot more current than I thought, so maybe the fish is going to be decent here. Whoa. Oh, I'm in trouble, man. No. Come on out, come out, come out, come out, come out, please. Please. Please come out. Please, what do I gotta do to convince you to come out back towards me? Yes. I have to put the screws to him. Oh wow, yellow jack here, huh? Sweet. Yeah, boy. First micro yellow jack. Sweet. It's my first Florida Keys micro jig. Yellow jack. These guys are great to eat, actually. Uh, much better than Jack Ravel. There's no regulation on them either. <laughs> Makes great thumbnails to fill up a trash bag full of them, but I'm only gonna keep one. All right. All right, boy, that was a challenge. Um, on that micro jig to get that thing in. These guys are pretty good to eat, uh, much better than the uh, Jack Ravals. Um, great tourist fish. You know, if you're not dialed in, you could usually find these guys. They do seem to prefer clearer water, but we're gonna keep this guy. Uh, he's gonna be dinner tonight. Get him on ice right now. Awesome. Man, that was a battle on that tackle. Woo. Okay, what a battle. Okay, that's what we're gonna work with. I hope that's not another one. Yeah. Oh man, these mangroves are a little bit nicer. Still not big, but better than what we saw earlier. Almost bit me.
Lethbridge seems to have some much bigger fish. It's a chub, Bermuda chub. I think that's what that is. It reminds me of the pinfish. Um, Ringtails, decent sized fish. It's definitely structure down there then. Jig heads ain't holding up. Oh, what about that? I got these. Yeah, let's try that. Let's try this guy here. Yeah. Pretty cool. Makes sense, these guys eat a lot of crabs. It's a small mutton snapper. Of this guy, it's the Nomad. Try that too.
Now how did I do that? These lures with lots of treble hooks. It's a Margate. Looks kind of like a grunt. Jacks. Oh, what those all are? Oh my goodness. I'm asking for trouble there. Jack Creval. I think I gotta take this lure off for now. There's too many troubles on it. And yeah, I'm gonna be hooking fish fatally. Seems like this is a good lure, but I think I've got too many toothy critters that are gonna really be problematic here. So let's put that away. We'll put the diesel mitt on. Oh, I think that was a jack again. Wasn't keeping that one. Hmm. Got a couple bites in here. I, I had to switch off those. I had to switch off those treble hooks, and then I think I'm going to injure too much, too many of these fish. everywhere on these pilings then. Another yellow jack. I mean maybe not a lot, but it seems like there's a few.
I gotta go a little heavier, I think. I've got too many of these jacks. I'm gonna go up to 20. Can't stop those jacks on 15, on 12. Even those little ones, they're too powerful. regroup and head back down that way. I'm not getting any bites here in the slower water. Nothing at all, really. Should have been a little bit more prepared to bump into a lot of jacks. Gonna go back to the area I had those better bites, more snappers. As soon as I went real shallow, it just turned straight uh, jacks. So, you know, if all I get is jacks today, that's fine. It's really windy. It's not too much else I could do today. So, I don't have my depth finder today because, you know, I can't fish without a fish finder. So I'm guessing I'm fishing in 10, 15 feet over there. Because you know, he only fishes with a fish finder. Can do just fine with that one on a bridge. And try that crab lure again. I don't know if that was a fluke getting a mutton snapper on that. But. Well, no, I think I had my fill of jacks. Okay, this is interesting. So, no more bites on the crab. Stick with the Mackinac for a few little more. Tide slowed down, honestly. It needed to be here for the full tide, probably. Tempted to put the Nomad back on. Seems like to get these fish to do anything here, you need some current, though. Black tide stuff's no good here. All right, let's catch some more chubs, guys. Small black grouper.
This has been really slow on this bridge now. These fish really want moving tides here, man. They are not biting at all now. Some fish there. Wow, I was catching fish. Yeah, I know, I'm catching little fish. I was catching fish every single cast. More or less, I was getting bites for sure. Um, the last 40 minutes, I haven't had a fish to the kayak. Um, these Keys fish really don't like slack tide. Other places, yeah, slack, their strategies. I'm, and I'm sure there are strategies for slack here. But like a spot like this, man, you want a moving tide. Otherwise, it is like, I mean, you would think I'd be getting bites from all sorts of stuff with that right now. Just got the switch. This thing coming is going to be probably pretty tricky to fish here right now, actually. Oh, there we go. As soon as you got the switch. What is that? No, 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 no. I think that was a jack again. Yeah, these guys are fun, but they're tearing up these jig heads. These jig heads are not surviving the jacks, honestly. my first pork fish pretty cool i think those are related to scup porgy family now i'm starting to get bites again just need that current man no current no bites here all right well wind's kicking up I think it's slowly pivoting straight east, which is bad. <laughs> which isn't going to be really good right now. Try one other piling here, and I think we got to work our way back. Straight east in my face is going to suck. Um, this casual stuff to me is fun. It's just, you know, a lot of action. And some decent sized fish. You don't know what, what could be under this stuff, too, sometimes. I do like this, like, extra light action stuff like that. This is quite a bit more fun than you might translate to. Let's try this quick here. I'm sure I'm gonna get a lot of jacks on this side. I just feel like I will. 
but who knows. Alright, nothing on this side. Let's zip around and hit that other bridge quick and call it. Alright, this is awesome. Alright, I'm gonna I'll pay attention cruising over the flats if I see any blow-ups. What was really eye-opening is like for the most part everything just kind of Cut out the minute the tide went slack. It didn't matter, the little fish, jacks, nothing seemed to bite. Lane snapper. I'm seeing some those needlefish are on the flats here. some flats here that look like they should have barracuda. Let me take off this plug here. trout on steroids to me. Yeah, I don't, I don't think we have those in the Car North Carolina. Looks like some type of heron. White heron. Needlefish, huh? Really don't like these things. All right, is that what it is? Oh, it's a barracuda. Got it. It's funny, it's like, I remember last year, they were all much larger than this, but water temps were nowhere nearly as cold. seeing barracuda but they're all small right now all right too windy the flats are are tough there's a few barracudas out here but it's blowing too hard for me to, to beach the kayak now busy day today out here but uh i think i'm done for the day you know what's funny is the bridge by me doesn't have the yellow jacks right now so it's i was a little more surprised to catch them on this little bridge but i gotta throw that savage gear crab a little bit more it's good to see the little muttons are eating it so maybe the when I can get out and to do some some bigger water stuff, maybe those keeper muttons will eat it. So pretty busy in front of my truck right now, but gonna break up a party. All right, well we'll do some more of that micro jigging. Um, I used a eighth ounce jig head on this guy. This worked pretty well. It had bites. 
you know, it's like a trout magnet kind of thing. Literally had bites the minute it was hitting the water, except that slack tide. So, all right, got a couple things to do. Guys, let's see, let's see the next one. Still, that was fun. Got that yellow jack for dinner too. Let's see what else we can do. This wind's supposed to lay down next week, it really is.